welcome back to my YouTube channel, aka Alexis in Life. In today's video, I am going to be giving an updated storage tour. Um, I do believe I will be splitting this into two parts because I do have quite a lot of Rainbow Loom storage and I want to show it all to you, but like, I don't want to put like a 30 minute video out there of just my storage. So yeah, if you do enjoy this video or if you like the topic, please give it a like, comment below, subscribe, follow my Instagram, which is Alexis underscore looms, and please check out my Etsy shop, which the link will be in the description below. Anyway, let's get into this video. So I am just going to give you an overview of my looming table. My first arm um, drawers has all of my opaque and jelly colors in it. And then these two white ones over here. The first white one has like limited edition bands in there. And then the next one has like dual layer sparkly bands. And then I have a bunch of cases in the corner. And I will be getting into the cases portion of this first because I do believe that that'll probably be shorter than the drawers because I do have a lot of those. The drawers will be part two and I will have where I bought them and everything in the description because that is also one of my most asked questions is where the heck I get my storage drawers from. So yeah, let's get into the um, cases of bands that I have over there. So the first thing I have over here is my Rainbow Loom Jumbo Bucket. It's very used as you can see. Um, that's the one that's on top. And then I've got two more buckets. I have the Glow in the Dark Bucket, which has been used last because this is pretty new. And I haven't been looming too much lately, unfortunately. And then the next bucket that I've got is the one I got from Walmart. Um, that's what's left in it. I do have a video of this one on my channel as well, if you don't know what it looked like um, when it was new. And then I've got the pastel treasure box. Um, I only, I think... I only kept three of the treasure boxes. I returned the neon one because I already have those colors. I was trying to put all of these um, bands in cases, but I don't, I don't have enough cases for them. So I was just gonna leave these ones in the box. And then I have this bag of just, white bags chilling back there because it doesn't fit in my storage drawers and then this first case is definitely bands from um the dots treasure box i believe i'm kind of scared to open this because it is so over over packed um sorry my ipad's kind of in the way here it's like super overpacked. Yeah, this is um, the first storage case that I've got. Put this one off to the side if I have room for that. Because Lord knows I got a bigger table and I still have no space. And this is the mega combo set case. But I do believe that I have like put different bands in here. I think I have like some off brand bands in this case, but I did keep the loom in here. So yeah, fun facts. Um, yeah, I did like another off brand band review and actually no, I didn't put those bands in here. I put those bands in the next case. I'm dropping bands everywhere over here, low key. Don't know how. Everything's gonna stay over there. 
Okay, yeah, so this is the case that has a bunch of off-brand bands, and yeah, it is kind of low-key broken. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, these are the Amazon bands I did a review on, like, a while ago. But, um, they're still, like, really, I really still like these bands. Have used quite a few of the colors because there's some empty um, spaces in there. I'm just gonna put that one on the floor because it's a little broken. Okay, and then this case has a bunch of um, sweets, like old sweets bands and old Persian bands, like the first release. The first release of these bands. Um, oh, and there is some dual layer bands in here as well. But yeah, um, I don't use the bands that I have in cases as often as I use the bands in the drawers. Obviously, if I use them more they would be in the drawers. Okay, and then this, this is the last um, case that I have. This one I didn't actually purchase. I don't think I actually purchased this one. This was like, this was like sponsored or something, I think, honestly. I don't know how it came to, but these bands, I don't really like them. So that's why they're the last, um, case that I have honestly because I don't really like them so I am gonna stack my cases back together and then I will show you what is in my storage my extra band storage and then just off to the side of all of that I have this um these acrylic um drawers with my markers in them. And then my Etsy shop stuff is right there. And now we can get into what the heck is in here. So this is just where I keep all of my extra storage bands. I sort them by color. Let me just get a like, better angle. Reds, oranges, and yellows are in here. I've got blues and greens in here. So there's quite a few of those. I've got some more blues and purples. Some more blues and purples. We've got, um, sorry, my chair makes noise. Got pinks and tans in here. I did recently get a new one of these um, drawers, the 10 drawers for Michaels. We got browns, grays, white and blacks. And then in, in here we just have a bunch of mixed bands, as you can see. And then there's just um, some more mixed bands in here as well. And then these are off-brand bands. And then I have these Alpha Loom bands in here because these are pretty ugly colors. I don't, there really isn't anything that I would make with those colors. And then, oh, I can't close this. One second. And then I used to have like this really big drawer of C clips and stuff, but um I made a short where I threw a lot of them out, so this is all that I have left. And then I also have some safety eyes in here because I do have quite a few of safety eyes. And then for the last drawer, I have like some 
miscellaneous craft supplies, um, some glue, and then there's like some random rain balloon stuff in here that I really don't use. I'll show, I'm not gonna open up, open it up and go through it, but I just got hooks, mini looms, I have beads in here, charms, googly eyes, just a bunch of stuff. I'll have my um, loom extender holders in there as well. Pipe cleaners, and then I have like extra loom bars down there, I believe. Okay, so up here on top of it, I'll stand up for this. I have this crochet kit that I have yet to make a video about. I have two random balls of yarn. And then these are just some overflow bands. I would have put the white bands that are over there, but this is pretty full as well. I have um, these for dinos and these for seahorses. And I just have some random bracelet strings in there. And then below it is my beads. I have this um, paper cutter just for my Etsy thank you notes. Yeah, I was obsessed with One Direction. I just decided I was gonna leave that on. So these are the smaller beads. Like not the 12 millimeters, the smaller beads. I've got like some evil eye beads in there as well. For for nice projects. Couldn't close that one. And then this one has my bigger beads in here. You can go off to the side here. I really am obsessed with those pastel beads. They're super pretty. Just haven't found anything to use them for. So yeah, that is my storage drawers and what's on top of my storage drawer case. I will be doing my storage drawers in my next video, so please stick around for that. And I'll also be going through what I have on top of the drawers as well. Um, and I also just forgot to mention, let me zoom in, in the corner over here, I just have some coloring books. And then the spiral notebook has um, all of my rainbow loom patterns in there that I have written down. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please uh, stay tuned for part two as well because I know that is probably the part that everybody is looking forward to. Um, if you enjoyed this video and are excited for part two, please give me a like, comment below, subscribe, follow my Instagram, which is Alexis underscore looms, and please check out my Etsy shop, which will be in the description below. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.